Welcome back guys, I'm Zell and today we're doing a video response for Matt over at Knife Crazy. He's running a contest and you can enter his contest too. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. In fact, I'll leave a link directly to the contest video for you. And what he wants in the video responses is a look at the gear you use for sharpening. And this whole pile of junk right here is what I use for sharpening. We should probably, well, hey, we'll start at the beginning. In the beginning, you got to have something to open your uh, cold beverage of choice. So we have the Mall Ninja bottle opener from the Iraq Veteran 8888 channel and a lanyard I made for it. Once we have our cold beverage open, we need our tape. And most of the blades I tape, even though I'm using diamond hones and I don't have a slurry or anything, just in case I make a mistake. And uh, I don't, especially if it's coated blade, I don't want to make a mistake and uh, ruin the coating. And from there, I go through the KME sharpening system from whatever grit is necessary. Uh, some of the steel start at 300 and go up 600 and 1500. Uh, some of them are, it's a necessity to go down to 140, and if you need to reprofile something, you may have to go all the way to 100 grit. And you can watch some of uh, Knife Crazy, Matt's videos on the KME sharpener to see how that thing works. Once we get through the grits on the KME, it's time for another beverage of choice. And I've got a bottle opener my wife got for me and a, another little lanyard I made for it. And then starts the fun stuff. This is the strop that we made, and I'll link the video. We made this in that video, and it has 4 micron diamond emulsion from KME. That 4 micron diamond emulsion, whenever it's put on pretty thick, it cuts pretty well and uh, helps you finish off from that 1500 stone, 1500 grit stone. So we go here strop it up on this one and then depending on the steel we may use this strop and this is a Aussie strops kangaroo leather strop and it has green diamond paste on it <clears throat> and for some steels this is really as far as you need to go unless you're looking for that super serious mirror polish uh, you know Aussie 8 and uh, S30V, you know, this is really as far as you have to go when you have a mirror polish. From there, we move on to the piece of balsa wood, and this is a one inch by three inch piece of balsa wood, and it has one micron diamond paste on it. And it does a heck of a job shining those things up. Uh, S30V usually ends here just because I like that final finish on it. And uh, your harder steels, your uh, M390, you know, S110V, stuff like that, they generally need to see this. Anyhow, once we're done there, then we have, still have all this stuff because I'm going to take that knife apart. I'm going to clean it up. If I haven't already cleaned up the bushings or washers, whatever you'd like to call them, I'm going to clean up the washers, make sure everything's right in the knife. And I have a set of bond husks, I think is how you pronounce that, of these little Torx wrenches. And these are nice. I like them anyhow because you got these two little flats here, and it's a reminder not to use it like a regular screwdriver and strip out your Torx bit because, you know, T6 Torx tend to strip on me quite often. So, got all the necessary stuff here to take the knife apart, put it back together, and I am still trying to find a preferred lubricant for these things, but whenever I put them together right now, I use Ballastol. I know it's a gun lubricant, but it's thin, it stays on the metal, 
and I noticed on the semi-automatic handguns this stuff stays on the metal for a long long time and keeps it nice and smooth and slick it's got good lubricating properties so for now I use ballastol and then uh, to finish off putting it back together we've got some blue thread locker gel you know the rules here if it's red or says red thread locker I have seen red thread locker in a blue tube and a blue bottle so read it don't just go by the color but you want to use blue you don't ever want to use red because red is something a whole lot closer to permanent it's really really hard to get those things apart if you use red thread locker anyhow guys one last thing i'll show you some of these other guys with their uh, kmes and whatnot use these kangaroo strops well i tried and that's what my strop ended up looking like so i just use flat bench strops anyhow be sure to get over to matt's channel it's knife crazy i will put that link to the video in the description and you guys have a great day don't forget to like share and subscribe here on this channel and i'll see you next time